All right, so I'm gonna make some quick measurements and label a couple sections. Take this ruler, I'm gonna line it up. I'm just gonna make a mark across there. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So you've got a motor ports A, B, C, D. They're facing up. I'm gonna try and center this. I'm measuring from this point, not this point. It's about two and three quarter inches from the edge two and three quarters away from the edge on this side. I'm checking on this side, two and three quarters there, two and three quarters there. So that looks good. And now I'm just gonna draw around the EV3. So we got that there. We've got a rough drawing. What I really wanna know though, is I wanna know the distance from here to here. So let's go ahead and measure that. If we look this here, from the top to just below the keypad is about three and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna measure that right here. From here to three and a half inches down is right about there. Make a mark there, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, three and a half inches down. And I'm actually gonna connect this point here to this point here. I don't really care about that outside section. Actually, I care about it a lot. I don't want to remove that outside section. I'm gonna remove just the inside. And I'm gonna make a line across this three and a half inch section. All right, so that area right there, I'm gonna cut that area out. And that is where EV3 is gonna sit, facing down like that. So I've got this here, this set here. These guys are gonna connect right there and right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut out the area where the EV3 is gonna be visible. I'm gonna use the ruler to maintain a nice straight edge again. Now that I've got this section cut out, the EV3 should fit really nicely right in there. We're gonna use these guys for support to help hold the EV3 in. In order to do that, I'm gonna take a mechanical pencil and I'm gonna use this to draw a couple holes. And take that same mechanical pencil and this just kinda helps. I'm not using the lead portion, there's no lead. I'm just using that to can't make a center hole, which hopefully makes it so that my drill bit drilling is a little bit more accurate. And it also makes it a little bit easier to get started. All right, so what we have here is a 5 32nd inch drill bit. And we're just gonna use this to drill little holes in each section. All right, before I do this, I'm gonna try and make my holes as clean as possible. So I've still got some gunk in there. I'm gonna go in there with the back end of the, with the drill bit. Place this. And I got eight of these long blue pin connectors. I'll wiggle that, and that feels pretty good. Cool. I like it. All right. So. Our EV3 is gonna sit here in the feet, but we're gonna to need to get some cables up through the body towards the head. In order to do that, we're gonna need a hole or an access point, roughly a one inch hole. We're gonna measure from here about three quarters of an inch in. So I'll make a tick mark roughly three quarters of an inch in there. Make one at roughly one and three quarters of an inch in right there. I'm gonna go one inch up from either of those spots. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. This doesn't have to be particularly accurate. But I'll go ahead and outline those. Continue using a ruler as a nice straight edge to run our knife along. 